Hey guys, welcome to Spinning It Up, the bankrupt challenge where we start with $25 at 25 cent spins and try to move up in the stakes on Poker Stars. Right now our bankroll is $23 and we're going to play at least two spinning goes in this video, so wish me luck! Whoa, did you guys see that 625 go by? Ooh, that would be a nice one. All right, two fifty cent spins. Not very surprising. Pretty standard city. And obviously, one of the big reasons why this uh, bankroll challenge is going to take us quite a while. Mm, I feel like nines is pretty close between isolating and just jamming it in. And we will bet on the right. Okay, so that's a pretty low flop. Let's just bet a half pot and call. All right, whoa! <laughs> good, pretty good odds there, right? Okay, that was fast. Note this down as a loss. So that I do not forget that I did indeed lose a spin and go right at the start of the. Uh, right at the start of the video. All right, there's 50 cents. But what can you do, right, when your opponent is... What did he, what did he have? 3-2? I gotta go back and look at that, but 3-2 three, three, does have a history of destroying my soul. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. Uh, I don't, I don't love this board. So I think I'm going to check it. If he bets here, I can call easily. Uh, I will bet now. We have a whole bunch of equity and he's checked. Interesting um, out of bet out of position, but yeah. Obviously we uh, missed everything, so we're going to fold. Let's get it in with pocket fives. Pretty nice hand. And I'm going to try to limp here with 8-6. See what our friend Grar94 does. He rest, so we call. And fold. <laughs> Ooh, it's a 5x. Grar over there. Pretty aggro. Now, uh, it costs 20 to call here. Hand's not very good, and I'm getting a little bit short, so I guess we'll just fold it. Work. This guy likes to raise pretty big. Uh, the ace on the flop is definitely a bad thing. Unfortunately for me. Nine, six. I guess. We'll limp. Uh, bottom pair. He's betting 20, so you go from raising it up 4x pre-flop to min-betting on the flop. Sure. All right, face lords. Now what? Okay, our opponent on the left is going all in. I don't know what that means. Probably has me beat. Uh, let's call one more time. And fold, I guess. All right, Grar. He has bust, though. Queen two suited, no good. Get it in here with our king seven. Ten four, probably not good there. John Flesh having a think. Let's fold the six two. Uh, five four suited. I'm actually not really sure what to do with five four suited. Uh, I'm gonna raise it. 
And 7-3, I guess I'll fold. Hey, we have an ace. I don't, I think this is our first ace X that we've seen in our three games so far. All right, I will call with queen two suited. Pretty decent hand. Uh, we've turned a queen, which is kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if 60 is maybe too big. I wouldn't mind making it 50 here. My mouse would cooperate. There we go. I don't really want to call with jack three. Let's get it in with nine seven. Suited, of course. Gotta love those diamonds. Let's check. Um. I'm not exactly sure about ace two here. But I think, I'm yeah, I'm really not sure. Um, it's probably okay to jam. Um, let's make it 45 on the left. My mouse is being really weird, so I'm gonna switch it up here just one second. There we go. <laughs> not that you could tell I'm using a different mouse, right? <laughs> wow, what a crazy river. Not a fan of that river at all. Yeah, <laughs> where was that a? Okay, so we got there with the flush. Nice hand. Okay. Yeah. Just grinding away on the left. He seems to fold quite a lot to my jams. So I can probably maybe jam like slightly wider than usual. Um, let's try limping the eights. All right, seems like a decent flop, but uh, probably will jam this in the eight six. Mm. Maybe better to limp. I'm not sure though. 8 6 is pretty bad. Pretty bad. John Flesh, he must be like, I don't know, four tabling or something. He just takes forever to decide what to do. Um, I'm not, not loving the 5 2 on the left. It's pretty bad. On the right. I feel like maybe another bet would be nice. I don't want to bet as big as 100, I don't think. Yeah, 5-2, probably not good. Okay. Um, thinking maybe just go all in here. Go all in on the left, pretty easy. Alright, we have eights queen. If this guy could, I don't know, do something. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, he called us. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of clubs to dodge. Oh, we did it. Okay, finally. <laughs> We're out of the dumpster. Um, Let's, I guess, limp 8 7 suited. See how that goes. Face Lord's up to his usual thing. Raising it up pretty big. Uh, I got a call with 9 8 suited. And let's bet on the left. Hmm. Probably will jam here. Sure. All right, Jack two. Ah, uh, not great. Not the worst. You know, Jack two. How good can it be? I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to call this here with Jack ten suited. Uh, John flush behind. I guess I'm just gonna fold, but I'll save that hand because I'm not sure. Add it to the file of questions. <laughs> this is, uh, in case you don't watch my Twitch stream, this is pretty standard for me. Now. Anytime that I don't, I don't know what to do in a given hand, I will save the hand and try to figure it out at a later date. So spinning goes, I mean, 
even though it's really low stakes, it's still uh, good to try to improve a little bit every single time you play. Something that I kind of got, I've gotten used to a little bit. Right, John. John, you're getting short. Ooh, I'm lucky to dominate you here. Wonder if it's gonna end up a chop though. See, I knew it. I'm psychic. I'm psychic. I didn't want to be psychic in that spot though. I have to admit that I did want to hold. <laughs> All right, let's see what we do for min raise. We haven't really had a stack to be able to min raise before this hand. We haven't had a hand where I've actually wanted to raise min raise though. So, um, just wanted to find out, right? Hope he doesn't have a five. That will suck. If he has a, if he has an eight, which obviously he has a little bit more often, that'd be pretty sweet though. Uh, maybe want to make it one forty. All right, face lords. I don't know what you're doing, man, but. Let's get it in. Oh no. Oh, let's get let's get there. No, we did not get there. And he now he's three xing. King four. Could probably fold that. Let's get it in with ace eight on the right. And I'm gonna try raise again. Jack three. All right, back up to six hundred chips. Wow grinding hard here in these last games uh king seven i'm not quite sure i mean this guy's pretty short so maybe seems pretty weak though no anti jam there with a short stack in the small blind not sure about that get it in here with fours on the left looks like we're still going to be three-handed on the right um King Queen suited seems like a decent hand to have like limp range of this short. Considering that he f he like auto folds when I jam, I figure uh it's probably okay. Mm, you want to check this maybe? He probably doesn't have anything that he can really call with, but we'll try to bet anyway. You never know. Okay. <laughs> now I'm scared. Now I'm a little bit scared. Maybe was he bluffing? Was he bluffing, guys? Let's uh let's make it let's make it tiny. Let's make it ninety. No, we got him with the six. Wow, what a crazy raise. Alright. <laughs> Uh, nine two. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I mean, I assume that anytime you have an ace with this short, this short, you just gotta get it in. I assume. It's not like Face Lords is only three xing like the nuts there. We know that he does not only three x the nuts. Uh, we're behind on the left, which is really bad for us. Looks like we're gonna lose here. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the guy had pocket aces? I thought King 10 seemed pretty decent. We had King, sorry, Queen 10 on both of our tables at the same time. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just fold. I don't know what he's doing. I haven't really, he hasn't raised a lot, so it's hard to really get an idea of what, he, what he's doing when he raises. Like, I assume that since he hasn't raised very much, uh, that he's pretty strong when he raises, but I don't know. Um, he, he did, uh, min raise with a very short stack. Okay. Wow, man. That game, these games are taking forever. I mean, big blind 80. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure about betting here. Could try to bet on the river. Make it 160. So, uh, 10 to, we're just kind of such bad hands. We haven't only gotten bad hands, but he, I mean, he did fold the ace jack, so it's like, a lot of the times when we've had good hands, we haven't really been able to, you know, we obviously haven't been able to show down. Okay. So let's just jam. <laughs> this is when I was swear I was so sure he was gonna call. <laughs> I was so sure. All right, at this point we're just gonna jam it in. Oh my god! And see, it's it's pretty unlucky that every single time we get it in, I mean, he has us dominated. Like twice now, we've gotten it in for all the chips. Um, you know, we've gotten it in, and it's pretty unlucky to be dominated twice. It's actually a little bit. It's pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. And now we're going to the the dreaded. Oh, I thought we were moving to higher blinds. <laughs> it doesn't it does not have a very option where you get to uh, BB one hundred, but it's always really terrible when it does. <laughs> very terrible, <laughs> because it means uh you've. I mean, how long is a BB one hundred game? I mean, we've already been playing this for fifteen minutes, and I don't. I seem to get 10 2 a lot here, but yeah, we got a full 10 2. Uh, but yeah, uh, so here we go. So if your game goes over 15 minutes, you know that you're a big blind 100. And I always, when I was playing these um, full time, I always used to get so mad. So tilting to get to BB 100. Because the games, um, I mean, they're really not supposed to boss that long. Especially when you're playing a, when you're playing a minimum multiplier, it's like, really? <laughs> Playing it for this long is terrible. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, I flop chips. Hopefully you have something good. Um, okay. Call. I call you. Alright, I'm gonna get it in. Hopefully it doesn't have two parts. He calls with just one. Yeah, he called with one. He has 76 chips. Now, this does not mean the game's over, <laughs> unfortunately. Stuff could go very wrong. Like, he could get kings every single hand. <laughs> okay. There's one double up. Okay. I mean, I've got I've got eight, two. All right. We have an over card. That's a good thing. Eight. Eight. Nope. There's a second double up. I mean, it must be nice, right, to be super sure you get pocket kings and pocket fives. What pocket pair you got now? Ooh, fold. That can't be very good, usually. Maybe you just had the worst hand ever, though. Alright. <laughs> if I could just win, like, a 64 behind, we did it. <laughs> Guys, that took forever. And it was awful, but at least we won. Well, that was the longest spin and go of the challenge so far. Not an accomplishment I really wanted, but <laughs> I mean, sooner or later, you gotta have at least one or two or a handful that go to really late blinds. We lost two spins and we won one for a net of negative 25 cents, which means that we are down to $22.75 for our bankroll. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully there's better news in the next episode of Spinning It Up. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to click that thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You can watch me play poker live on twitch.tv slash if you would ever like to do so. And you can follow me on Twitter at CordyBee there. Thanks again. Have a great day or night, whatever it is for you, and talk to you in the next episode.